Good afternoon, kings and queens of Father's Glorious Nation. I greatly apologize for the delay of this particular message. We've had quite a few technical difficulties throughout the entire day. But, nonetheless, God got us here today, so we're going to continue to move it on forward keep it rolling. Today, we will be speaking on the subject of divine courage. And we will be finding the divine courage to speak life over death into any and every single given situation and by association becoming the change that we wish to see within our community. We will begin with 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every great work. So today, kings and queens, just, off of, just today, kings and queens, have the divine courage to be the change that you need. Have the divine courage to be the change that you need to see. Have the divine courage to speak life into every single situation. Have the divine have the divine courage to say, I can and I will. I will use today as an example. I won't go into details, but just the specifications, all of the issues that have occurred today. I could have easily just I could have easily posted and said, Hey y'all, today won't be a worship Wednesday. I apologize for the delay. I apologize for the inconvenience. We'll start back up next week. But instead, I waited until there was a perfect time for me to continue to do this message so that I can continue this mission for my Father and God and not allow things to stop me. What one 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 thing that we have to, to, to get out of the mindset of is when we get when we hit blocks, when we hit roadblocks, we hit all these kind of obstacles and issues. We have to stop allowing these things to stop us. If you feel that you keep getting stopped or you keep getting hindered from doing something repeatedly and yet you still keep pushing and you're still able to push past those barriers but then something else comes down and block you, one thing that I can say for sure that as long as you keep pushing until God tells you to stop, you do not stop. You continue to push. You continue to fight. You have that divine courage to push because everything, if you think about it, I put it this way. I put it this way because this is somewhat of a life or death matter. If someone were to, were tried to come, if someone were to come and try to take your life physically with their bare hands, come and try to take your life or any form, which way or form, try to take your life, you will not just sit there and let them take it. You will fight till the death of your death or their death. You will fight with every single thing in you, and that's what you have to do. And with every, every single thing in your life, you have to fight like it's life or death. If it's something that is in your heart and it's something that you genuinely and truly feel that you need within your heart, you fight for it and you push for it. You let nothing stop you because at the end of the day, if it is yours, nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. It can try to slow you down. It can try to make you feel like you slow and you stop primarily because of how slow the process is now going. But it is not stopped. Only God, God says when it is done. God says when, 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 but God says when it's over with. So therefore, if you feel the energy in you to continue to push, if you feel like there's any avenue, no matter, no matter if there's only one road left, no matter how difficult that one road looks, there's still one road that you have not tried. And if you try that one last road and you fail, then that may be your God's way of saying, no, that's not what you need. But if you try that one last road and you succeed, then you push even harder than you've ever done before once you get onto that new road. Nothing can stop you. Have the absolute and divine courage to continue to push forward in any and every single given situation that you do. Speak life on everything that you do. Speak I can, I will, and I sure have already conquered into every single thing that you do. Let nothing stop you. And I pray that each and every single one of y'all have a divinely God-willed and God-filled blessed day. In Jesus' name we pray, in Jesus' name we decree, and in Jesus' name, amen. Y'all have a very, very, very blessed one. You have everything, every single thing in you you need to succeed. Now go out there and conquer.